What do you think? It's a good cut, huh? Good cut, good color. I haven't had my hair cut um, since December. And gosh, I think this is so hot. And I'm really happy with it. So um, I've never curled my hair like this before. But the girl showed me how to do it. And it doesn't seem too hard. So um, I'm going to try to rock this look a little bit more often. It looks really great today because, of course, I just had it done. But, uh, you know, maintaining it's going to be a little bit of work. So I think I'm feeling up to it. And after I got it, you know, walking around, um, feeling good, feeling pretty, and feeling confident again, it's been nice because I've been having so many issues about my appearance lately, I think related to my low testosterone levels, as I talked about in my last video. And walking around with this haircut, it's really reminded me, like, the power of feeling beautiful. And I think it's really important to actually feel good about the way you look, especially when you're going through something crazy like gender transition. Um, and, you know, I've basically, I've cut my spiro this week, so I've been letting my really low, like dangerously low testosterone levels come back up to kind of a reasonable range. Um, and I'm going to keep, keep an eye on it. Um, I'll try to organically increase my spiro, so I want my I wanted my levels to kind of spike up to a good place, and then taper off again. So just kind of stay even for a while. Um, you know, I've definitely noticed that that I'm just feeling better. You know, having that low spiro, it really or having the low testosterone levels, it it was it was leading me to be getting sick all the time, and just feeling like hell, like not feeling good about going out into the world, um, or the way I look, or, or anything like that. Just low confidence for some reason. Um, so letting those levels come back up has been really great for feeling better. And then just, you know, I guess I'm repeating myself, but I think it's really important for people to have an opportunity to feel good about themselves. And feeling pretty for, for women and trans women is, is a way to do that. So you better believe that I'm pretty much back at the top of my game now after about a month of feeling like shit. And uh, it's going to be another dancing night and I'm determined to not get discouraged by stupid girls that uh, want to chat with me and then go kiss boys. <laughs> like what happened last time. Which I never talked about, but that's what happened last time. So... What else do I have to talk about today? Um, I guess it's not too much. Um, one thing that I've been wanting to do is I've been wanting to record a new... Well, I've been wanting to record a sort of introduction to my channel because I've never really... I, I wanted to just like leave something up as the default video on my channel because there's still a lot of people subscribing to me. It's kind of crazy, actually. I have over 2,000 subscribers now, and I don't know where they're coming from. I think it's fabulous, and I'm so appreciative, but I'm I'm really impressed with the numbers. Um, and so if people are going to be finding me so regularly, I would really like to be able to provide a sort of common starting point. So I made a list of everything I wanted to talk about in an intro video, and then I recorded that video, and it was 22 minutes long. So I, I decided to abort that project for today, and I'll have to come back to it. My makeup's a little weird. Um, but, so that's something that I'm going to be working on pretty soon. Maybe tomorrow, maybe later this week. Um, I've also, hint hint, started working on another project. I'm not going to tell you anything about it because I am evil, except that it's a collaboration project. And, um, I mean, anything could happen with it, and we're still in the planning phases right now, but I haven't sat down and worked on, like, a video project with anybody for years. You know, I, I used to study filmmaking, so I'm very comfortable in, like, a production environment where I'm sitting down with, like, a camera person and a screenwriter and a couple of actors and figuring out something cool to do, some cool project to make. And I haven't done that for so long because I exited the, the filmmaking industry um, 
without, I mean, I never really worked in it professionally, but I always wanted to. And then instead I started working in games. So just to be able to sit and talk to somebody about doing a cool project has been so awesome for me. And this project sounds like it's going to be really cool. I'm going to stop hyping it up now because you're probably getting frustrated. Um, but you can look forward to it coming soon to a theater near you. Only if you're playing YouTube videos up in the theater screen. Otherwise, it's going to be coming to you on a computer near you. Um, so I guess I'll sign off for now. Uh, I just want to say thank you again for watching, and thank you for all your support. Oh, last thing. I forgot to follow up with this video that I made for the reaching out, um, asking people, inviting them to, to email me and send me a message and leave a comment and introduce themselves. I had like 200 people write me and tell me about themselves. And there is such diversity in my viewer base. I am just really thrilled. There's, there's trans women, there's trans men, there's questioning people, there's bio women lesbians, there's bio women straight girls, there's bio men that are probably all straight, and <laughs> I don't really want to talk to them so much, I feel bad, but I just don't. And, uh, um, maybe I'm being mean, but I don't know. It's been really strange. I trust men less than ever, and I used to be one, so I don't know what that really says. <laughs> okay. I am rambling. I have nothing more to say that's of any interest, so I will say thank you for watching, thank you for your support, and um, I'll see you next time.